Hello, I'm Mark Schechter with the Ideal Luxury, where we buy, sell, trade, and make loans on fine watches, diamonds, and jewelry. Welcome to Question Mark, where I answer popular questions about these fine items. Today we'll be talking about fancy color diamonds. Why the smile? I love diamonds. Those that know me would say I'm a diamond geek. And I always say I've learned a ton, but I still don't know a damn thing. Did you know that diamonds come in colors other than white? You might say yellow. Sure, canary diamonds, but did you know they also come in blue and green and red and violet? One in 10,000 diamonds is naturally colored, and it's a rare occurrence as the diamond is making its way to the surface through volcanic vents where its atomic structure is manipulated and or it comes in contact with other natural elements to manipulate its color. This also takes place in very specific regions throughout the globe. So let's talk about those regions and the chemistry behind fancy colored diamonds. Most green diamonds come from South America and it takes place when radiation is subjected to a diamond as it forms and makes its way to the surface, giving us the green hue. Orange or yellow diamonds, most of which come from South Africa, Nitrogen is a natural element within the atomic structure of a diamond, but in yellow and orange diamonds, that structure or lattice realigns itself, giving off a yellow or orange hue. Very unique, but beautiful outcome. Blue diamonds. Most blue diamonds come from Southern Asia and the Indian region. The Golconan mine is known to produce most blue diamonds. The Cullinan mine in South Africa is also produced in blue diamonds, but where do they come from? It comes from the occurrence as the diamond is making its way to the surface and the carbon atom is forming, it comes in contact with and bonds with boron. Boron, very common at the Earth's surface, very rare within its crust, giving us gorgeous blue diamonds. Purple or violet diamonds come from Northern Asia, Siberian region, only place in the globe that's produced purple or violet diamonds. As their structure is forming, making its way to the surface, they come in contact naturally and bond with hydrogen, giving us purple or violet diamonds. Beautiful currents. Pink or red diamonds, and pinks are basically light reds, come from the Australian Argyle mine. Diamonds are formed with heat and pressure. Pink and red diamonds come from further within the Earth's surface, so they're subjected to more heat and more pressure their atomic structure is realigned in a way that gives off a pink or red hue. Again, fascinating result of specific regions within the globe and specific chemistry as the diamonds are formed, but give us these rare, gorgeous occurrences. Incredible to think that two diamonds make their way to the surface. One comes out FVS, white. One comes out fancy blue VS, blue. Mind-blowing but it has created some of the most incredible diamonds known to man. The one that jumps to most people's mind is the 45 karat blue hope diamond. It's a fancy dark grayish blue diamond said to be insured for $250 million. Earlier this year, Harry Winston acquired the Winston Legacy Pink. It's a 19 karat fancy vivid pink diamond acquired for $50 million. A $50 million pink diamond. Wow. Now who grades these diamonds? Well, much like the trusted source for D to Z white diamonds, it's GIA. GIA has developed a process to identify and grade fancy colored diamonds, and it's based around three main attributes. Hue is a diamond green or blue or pink. Tone is it light or dark in its tone? And then saturation. Saturation can be light to fancy, to fancy intense, to fancy vivid. That saturation of the color is where a lot of importance is placed when evaluating or valuing a fancy colored diamond. The contributing color. You may recall that the Hope Diamond was a grayish blue where the Winston Legacy Pink is a pink. Vivid pink. Fancy dark grayish blue. One has the contributing color of gray. That can contribute to a diamond's value. Most diamonds, if they're a straight blue or straight pink, are considered to be more valuable than those with a contributing color. But both are beautiful all the same. 
And then probably important to mention treatments. And again, this is why you want to stick with the GIA certified diamond. A diamond can be coated with color. It can be irradiated to manipulate its natural color, or it can be subjected to HPHD, high pressure, high temperature. Uh, if you think about the way diamonds are formed within the crust of the earth, the man is trying to manipulate that high pressure, high temperature to manipulate its color. All three of those, as well as other non-natural occurrences will be uh, evaluated and determined by GIA so that you know you're getting a natural fancy color diamond. I wish I could show you the Hope Diamond. I can't, but what I can show you are some gorgeous examples of GIA certified natural fancy color diamond jewelry. Let's take a closer look. So what we have here is an example. Uh, we'll start with this beauty. This is a uh, almost three quarters of a carat, fancy, vivid, yellowish, orange diamond. This is a natural color, yellowish orange versus straight orange. I'll get questions about that. Uh, orange is the base color, it's the last color they mentioned on the cert. If it has a contributing color, in this case, yellowish orange, they will put it on the cert and describe it. Um, straight colors are more rare. Most people like the contributing colors because they really accentuate the beauty of a stone. Uh, just uh, Google straight pink versus purplish pink and you'll see what I'm referring to. Can't make up your mind, you can always get uh, one of each. This is a gorgeous ring. Three hearts all at or right near a carrot. Uh, you've got a fancy intense, I'm uh, sorry, fancy intense yellowish orange heart. You have a fancy brownish orange pink, and you have a fancy greenish yellow here at the top. Gorgeous piece. This ring is absolutely stunning and a very rare ring at that. So as you can see right off the bat, I don't need to tell you, you've got green, blue, and red. But what's happening here, which is absolutely stunning, these stones are all right a half carat to three quarters of a carat, but you have a fancy, deep violet blue. That violet really makes for a stunning color. Look at this uh, fancy red, straight red, very rare. Most reds are under a carrot, very, very rare occurrence. This is a straight red, fancy red. And you have a fancy, vivid yellowish green. Look at the vivid saturation of that green and how it just pops, looks like a Jolly Rancher. Stunning piece. Another favorite design of mine here where you've got a Straight pink, fancy pink, about one carat marquee with two gorgeous, roughly quarter carat, fancy light blue side accent stones. So you can't get that in better focus. Stunning color. Here's a big one. So this is a straight blue. This is a 221 fancy light blue. Gorgeous stone, a lot of blues you'll have grayish blue, takes a little bit of the pop out of it. This is straight blue, fancy light blue. And you've got, oh, roughly a quarter carat and accent stones, those are natural fancy pink diamonds in the first halo. And your colorless white diamonds in the third halo. A nice cushion, nice 221 straight blue. And then green, this is a stunning ring. So you've got a three and a half carat fancy intense green. Look at the saturation of the green and how it shows. There's no mistaking what this is if you're educated. And on the side, those are actually fancy intense pink pears on the side. Also fancy intense uh, accent stones, but those pears are roughly a quarter carat each on the sides. Nice fancy intense green in the center. So there's some examples of some gorgeous GIA certified, natural, fancy colors. You know, your oranges, your greens, your reds, your blues. Um, it's fascinating. If you haven't had the chance to see one in person or if you haven't added one to your, uh, to your collection, this is truly the talk of the town, certainly a rare piece, and you won't see them, uh, you won't see them on anyone else, that's for sure. That's, uh, that's kind of the beauty of the, uh, the rare pieces. That's all for today, folks. If you'd like your question answered or would like to learn more about buying, selling, trading, or borrowing from Ideal Luxury, please visit our website or give us a call. Thanks for watching.